Absolutely. Well, one thing you often hear, Lenny, I know you've heard it, high pressure and low pressure. Absolutely. And a lot of people have not a clue what it means, mm -hmm. but they see these H's and these L's on the map, and mm -hmm. so I thought we'd explain that tonight. That would be great. So we're going to start out first with a couple of explainer okay. graphics behind us here, and we'll take those full screen as we go here. High pressure uh, is the blue H, and what that means, we've got sinking motion, and that's going to trap moisture. It's kind of like a lid for the atmosphere, and that's going to limit storm development. So, Lenny, you often have good weather with high pressure. We always like to see the big blue H on the map because mm -hmm. that means my job's easy. Right. Well, we get the opposite of high pressure, and that would be low pressure, which is the big L on the map. And notice it's basically opposite of what you saw. The arrows are going up into the atmosphere, so the lid is off the atmosphere now. We've got rising motion that's going to release that moisture. It's going to aid in storm development. Okay. And so we're going to start seeing the clouds and the rain. We've got a low pressure system coming through now, and you know what it's been doing all day today. The shoppers Raining. have been dealing with the rain all mm -hmm. day. So as we come back to the camera shot here, we've got a cool little experiment to demonstrate high pressure and low pressure. Okay. So what I've got here is a simple bottle, and I filled it with a little rubbing alcohol, but you can also do this with just plain old warm room temperature water, but rubbing okay. alcohol looks a little bit better for this demonstration. And I'm just going to moisten up the bottle a little bit, okay. and this is going to be what we would call water vapor in the atmosphere. You need moisture to develop storms and clouds and things like that. So what we've got going here is I'm just going to put a cap right into the bottle here, and I'm going to seal it real good so that nothing can get out of there. And this is my pump here, and it's just going to pump plain old fashioned air into the bottle. It's just a bicycle pump. So we pump it in. Think of it as high pressure. Okay. We're putting pressure into the bottle so mm -hmm. that nothing can escape. High pressure. Notice there's nothing in there. It's beautiful sunny in the bottle. Uh -huh. well, let's say we've got a cold front coming through. Low pressure is here. So I'm going to release the pressure in the bottle and okay. watch what happens. Low pressure comes in. Oh, wow. We've got a cloud. Okay. Yeah. Clouds are formed. We've got low pressure. <gasps> Look, you need to squeeze them out of the bottle. We've got clouds coming through. Let's say that cold front happens to push on through like it's happening tonight. So we're going to add high pressure back in. Notice the cloud Clear goes away. Up. That's right. High pressure is back in here. Experiment. All right. So we'll do it one more time. Low pressure comes through and guess what happens? You get the clouds a back cloud again. Development. Okay. So that's a perfect example of what high pressure and low pressure does. So if you mm -hmm. see the blue H on the map, most of the time we're going to get plenty of sunshine, a lack of clouds. It's really going to be a nice forecast. But if you get the big red L on there, watch out because clouds and rain and possibly storms are headed our Something way. Something a little like There this. you go. A little cloud in a bottle there for we, tonight on the Fox.